Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I'm wearing my shirt I made. It says Rolling With My Witches from Hocus Pocus. And this is a shirt I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a Russell brand. It's a nice long sleeve shirt. In our tea today, we have some hot apple cider by the Republic of Tea and my Queen Elizabeth. I think this was from the Diamond Jubilee mug. I love it. I got it years ago when I was in London and I like to uh, drink tea out of it. And now I have it sitting on my tea warmer. Sorry, the light's a little wonky. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, but I, I thought I would get this done for you. So I have a blend of some crafty, some gifty, some stuff, some things. So we'll just get started. Um, this, look at this little shadow box. Isn't this adorable? Um, it says do all things with great love, which is nice, but I think I'm going to Christmas craft them. This is glass and it's a real shadow box, but I like the size. So I got a white one and I got this gray one. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here yet, but I like the wood grain on the back of this one. And this one says, welcome to our beautiful chaos, which is reality. So, I mean, in their own right, these are great, but I thought they would be a fun craft project for the holidays. So I grabbed two of those and I will put them in my crafting box and we'll see what I come up with. <gasps> Guys, look at this gift bag. Is that not beautiful? I think it is adorable. I love the navy blue and white. I don't personally decorate that way, but I would. And the gold stars. This side is like foiled and this side is not. It's a nice quality. It is a voila brand, so it's Dollar Tree, but oh, I am obsessed. Ooh with this gift bag. I just think it's beautiful. I even think it would be beautiful with framed. Just cut this bag and put it in a frame or something. I don't know. I love, oh, I love it. I pulled out my handle, but I'll put it back. Don't worry. There we go. Yeah, I love it, but I'm assuming it'll just be given as a gift bag. So I grab that. I don't need a lot of gift bags, but when I see some of them that I think are cute, I grab them. Um, I grab these loot bags and they have the red, these are red trucks. At first I thought they might've been fire trucks and they just say North Pole on them. These are kind of cheap, but there's six of them and they're a dollar. And I think these would be great if you had like a girls get together, boys over for like um, decorating cookies. If you had a family party, you could have these on hand and everybody could take their cookies home in those. Uh, I'm going to be with, to my cousin's house, we're going to decorate gingerbread houses. So I thought for the girls, they're 12 and 13. I might make some beauty bags with some like face masks, nail polish, stuff like that for the girls to have. So I'll make six of those. Um, because trust me, I've got plenty of that stuff on hand. Oh, Halloween. I found this. Um, it's the wheel and it has, instead of like cute stuff, it's Halloween stencils. That's the word I'm looking for. There's ghosts and pumpkins and spider webs and a haunted house and a black cat with a pumpkin. Well, it's not a black cat, but it will be because that's what I have. So I thought that was fun for my planner. Sorry, I'm having allergies. Oh, I found some more t-shirts. Um, look at that fun color. I think I'm gonna make a shirt for work for my birthday with this. Um, so I grabbed my size. They had this color in my size. They had like a really fun mustard color, but it was gonna be too big. And they had children's place shirts that said things on them for young ones, but I don't remember if they had like a large and medium. Small was red. They tend to get like shirts by color and size. So they're only gonna have this size and this extra large and this color typically. But I grab them when I see them. I have a whole like bag of shirts in all different sizes. And when I wanna make a shirt for somebody, I have it. Um, I grabbed two bubble mailers to mail out a shirt. I made another one just like this, short sleeve and black for a friend of my niece, so I need to mail it out. So I grab some mailers. I found this, I don't know about this things. These egglets, 
Um, as seen on TV, you get four egglets. Says you can crack, boil, and pop perfect hard-boiled eggs every time. We're gonna try this. Um, yes, I, I've never seen them in action. I've seen them in the stores, but you get four of them. I feel like you could also do like little omelets or something in here in each one, but we'll see. I'm going to try it out and see if we like it. I don't know. So I thought for a dollar, why not? So I grabbed the egglet maker. Um, I picked up some garlic. I had other garlic, but it got hard. I don't know, it got moisture in there somehow, but I'm making some ranch seasoning. I'm out, so got some garlic for that. And then I found some stuff. Oh, I did find these. I'm gonna put them in with my niece's advent calendar. They are different uh, mascara wands which I think would be fun if you were having like a makeup party because then everybody could stick, a, you know, have a clean wand. But I wanted it to give them to her so she could try out the different wands and see if maybe she liked one. I don't know, I just thought it was cute for a dollar. Um, LA Colors has, this is meant to be, we're gonna open this up, this is for me. It's a macaroon and I think it's mint, yeah, mint scent they're calling it just a chapstick or a lip gloss or something lip balm what are they calling this lip balm I can't get it out <laughs> got it out but it looks like a uh, french macaroon which is a cookie they had different ones as well but I liked I like mint lip stuff um maybe maybe I'll get it open I don't know it won't open I'm assuming you yeah unscrew it it was just on there really tight Smells like mint. I'm not a huge fan of the stick your finger in it. We'll see how it works. Um, okay, it's not a screw, it's just a snap. So you turn it and it locks in place with these little nubbies. But we'll see. I am the last brand that I bought at the Dollar Tree dried my lips out, the Mentos, and it was gross. So I threw it away, but this is cute. And you know what? If it doesn't work for the lip balm, I'm gonna clean it out and use this as like a pill holder for my purse to hold like some ibuprofen or Tylenol or my sinus medicine. That would be awesome for my purse and it's adorable. But I will tell you, it feels nice. It would be a fun stocking stuffer. It's time guys, it is time to start thinking about the holidays. Um, speaking of, I got a vanilla sugary uh, vanilla sugar and raspberry foot mask. I mean, how fun is that? This is the new Bolero line that's out. Um, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of their product, but for foot masks, bath salts, they're okay. And then they had the coconut and rose milk paper mask for your face. And I love this packaging, to be honest with you. And I thought, you know, these would be great stocking stuffers too with a little lip balm. I mean, especially for like your teenagers, this stuff is super fun. Um, and I do love a good foot mask. So I picked up those. Those are for me probably. Um, I got some Christmas socks. Let's see if I can get into these Christmas socks. Um, just in case you need to know, there's a llama involved. You know, sorry. I will tell you, I have probably 30 pair of Christmas socks. I wear a different pair every day, but come on, these are llamas and they're adorable. And I say this and they have Santa hats on them, please. I say this every time. I wear a size eight and a half to a nine. These claim to fit size five to nine. They're very much just fit my feet. If I had a bigger foot, now I have a wider foot. So if you have a narrow foot and you're a nine, it might work. Um, also, I don't like my my socks crunching up my toes. Take it for what it's worth. But these are llamas. And I do start on the day after Thanksgiving and we do the 25 days of Christmas socks. <laughs> and I take a picture every morning and post it on Instagram of my new Christmas socks. Or that socks that I'm wearing that day. So these are the llamas. Um, I do have a couple pair that I've had for years that I need to dispose of, probably. So I'm thinking if I grab a few pair extra, 
we'll be fine. And I go up to Christmas Day. Christmas Day is usually the Santas. There, I spoiler alert. Okay, now, Christmassy type stuff. I picked up these. These are, and I needed, I couldn't find the date when I was in the store. Um, these are good until September of next year. These are individual mug cakes. Yes, we get the Betty Crocker that comes in the four pack. But this, my friends, is rainbow chip cake with rainbow chip frosting. And it's three tablespoons of water or milk. A 9 to 12 ounce mug. I mean, that's it. You mix it. You empty the cake mix. You add the water. You microwave. And then you squeeze the frosting and it comes with frosting on top. I mean, that is adorable. So I grabbed a Funfetti. Type, um, rainbow chip Funfetti. And then this one is hot fudge brownie with fudge topping. I just thought these would be perfect. Like a mug. And I have mugs I have hauled. So I need to pull all that stuff together for my um work gift ideas put this behind it put your mug up front put some candy in it a spoon and that's just like a perfect little i'm thinking of you fun little office gift that's less than two or three dollars to do but you gotta start now and these are perfect for that or you could just get the brownie mix and if you want to do more than one they do sell like a four pack and then you can just slide them in the mugs if you want to do more than one but i like different gifts for people and for the guys i think these are fun because i have a hard time with the guys although i think my guys on my team like the fun socks too so i need to start keeping my eyes out on that i did find VRV. I'm going to tell you, these are cheap as get out. I don't care. They're adorable. They're plastic. They're glittery. I don't care. They're adorable. So I just grabbed one pack or one, two pack because I don't know what I'm even going to do with these. They won't make it on my tree, but they'll make it in some type of a crafting project, I hope. So I grabbed one of those. And from what I've been watching on other people, this is a theme. And I'm going to show you what else came with this. So I grabbed a tin. Do I need tins in my life? Absolutely not. And what I want with this tin is the, it looks like a treasure chest because I keep my tea in it. But I digress. Look at these. Decorated little RVs. I just love the kitschy kind of country camper. So they're incorporating with the red truck. Um, this is a small container here. It's plain on the inside. Yes, you can put treats in it, but what I like to do on my coffee bar is I'll put like tea bags or my sweeteners and stuff like this just to have out on my counter. I mean, because I just love that. Look at this. I may have to see if I can paint that. I don't know, but I love that picture. Um, I did see some people haul these in the square, so I'm kind of hoping they have like the lid, the one with the lid. So I can take one to work for my tea bags on my desk. Um, but again, you could fill these with treats, obviously, to give people. Or put this kind of stuff in it. Some beauty stuff, some lip stuff, some socks. And that would make a great vessel for a gift. Now, this. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of obsessed. I only found two, and I need to go to some other Dollar Trees and look for some more. But look at this. I have never seen these at the Dollar Tree, so these are new. Um, they're, I mean, I'm going to say it might hold three cups. Not huge. Definitely could be used for giving gifts. And what I like is there's a rubber seal. So if you baked cookies, it would definitely hold on to your cookies for sure. So I grabbed the Santa and the Snowman. I saw somebody haul the, the truck, which I need to find. But then I also found the, sorry, it's just glary today, the gingerbread men. But I'm going to show you. Do you see this lid? Guys, they stack perfectly. Can you imagine either gifting somebody a tower of these? Oh, my nose is just, with a different cookie in each one. Do three, do four, do two, and then tie them all together. And that would be a fun gift. You could use these on your counter for sugar, for flour, for all of your condimenty thingies for the holidays. Stack them up, put them next to each other. Obviously, you could put tea and sugar and coffee and hot chocolate. You could make a hot chocolate bar in this. So put some marshmallows, some 
part, uh, sprinkly stuff, some packets of Swiss Miss, or get some really good hot cocoa and put in here and give that to somebody. I mean, there's a hundred things you could do. Heck, you can put this in your bathroom on the counter with cotton balls and Q-tips and call it Christmas. So I'm definitely on the hunt for more of these containers. Um, the store I was at only had these two. So somebody had already got to them before I did. But that's okay, it's early. Um, I have not found the red truck sign yet and I have not found the truck that you can paint on your own. So I'm super on the hunt for those. Uh, but that's all I have for right now. Um, this is probably gonna go up on Tuesday. I do need to do a, a video of going through um, and making the advent calendar for, you know, a 20 something. This gift could be an advent calendar that I'm gonna create, could go for anywhere from, I would say a teenager up to, you know, an adult woman would enjoy this, just depending on the items that you get involved in. Um, this is not drying out my lips, so that makes me happy. So I will use it, and then I will use it for something different. I just love little containers to put like Sudafed and stuff in, and I think that this would be the perfect size for that, because Sudafed is little, but anywho. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you later. I should have some DIYs out this week. I have one in the works right now that's drying in the sink behind me. Uh, it's another painting project, and I'll have that up and then some other things, and you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye!